Hello friends, today I would like to show you beginning of my attempt to cross two species, two cultivars I mean, two named cultivars of snake plant, also known as mother-in-law tongue plant, scientific name Sansevieria. Here I have many named types of this plant, many named cultivars. And recently two of them bloomed. One type that has a round leaf, not flat at all, and one that has a very, very wide leaf. The very wide-leafed one is called Sanseveria masoniana. You can see how much wider it is than the most common Sanseveria trifasciata. This one is with a variegated edge and the regular one same narrow, non-variegated. That's actually uh, the most common. Let me show you. Here I have it. You see the non-variegated edge. The reason it gets darker when the leaf is older or lighter when the leaf is younger, the reason people call it snake plant is because the most common cultivar, the original wild type, has a kind of design like the surface of a snake. The Masoniana, the spots are kind of more round. Anyway, my Masoniana that I have in a larger pot bloomed recently. Unfortunately, I didn't photograph the flowers. They were whiter and more um, wh whiter and um, more fluffy than Masion, uh, Sanseveria cylindrica, the one that has the round leaves. Small difference. Well, I found another small difference. The fruit of cylindrica is kind of red or orange. Here are ripe. It has a one seed in each fruit. And the fruit of Masoniana is more yellow and way larger. And I have no idea if larger mean the fruit part is thicker or the seed is larger or combination of both. I'll open it and we'll see. One moment. So you'll see clean fruit. Green seed, I mean. Well, here we go. A failure, a disappointing result. Seed of cylindrica, just like in the past, is whitish, hard, roundish, 
about the size of a sweet pea in a seed of Mansoniana is so small and flat that I have a doubt that it might that it can sprout and it has a black skin at least this one I don't know the real one I don't know the good one so next time it flowers next time I have a bloom on both of them I will try again to see if the failure keeps repeating they might just not be compatible for cross-pollination but if it doesn't then the cause of current failure might be that the stem dried too early depriving the fruit of the nourishment from leaves and roots. We'll see. It'll be also interesting if I succeed. Is the seed always of the Mansoniana black as opposed to Cylindrica that is of the opposite color? Oh well. At least I can clean these seeds and uh, plant them. That's all. <laughs> I thought I'm going to show you beginning of adventure, but this was a short-lived adventure. Well, what can I say? Sometimes something doesn't quite go as planned. Goodbye, dear friends. See you next time on next installment of Gardening Adventures and Disadventures. This one was in a disadventure category. Goodbye.